Okay, now we're gonna go over hyperpituitarism, which is an over-secretion of the human growth hormone, which equals the overgrowth of bones. So there's two types of this. The first type is gigantism, which is when the growth happens before the bones are fused, so in childhood. This means they grow very tall, but proportional. The second type is acromegaly. This happens when the growth occurs after the fusion of the plates, which means they grow not taller, but their bones grow thicker. So the etiology of this is a benign, slow-growing tumors in the anterior pituitary gland. And the signs and symptoms for gigantism, it's an abrupt growth, um, and they just grow really tall, but like I said, proportionate. Um, signs and symptoms for acromegaly, um, this is when their skull gets thick because it's compressing the brain, they'll get headaches. They also will have oily skin and enlarged hands, feet, head, and tongue. The diagnostic procedure for this is an MRI or a CT scan or bone x-rays, and they will also take a clinical picture of symptoms and kind of piece it together that way. The treatment for this is, they, the goal is to lower the human growth hormone levels. So by this, they will remove the tumor or do radiology to kind of remove that. Um, the prognosis, um, advanced cases of acromegaly can have congestive heart failure, type 2 diabetes, mellitus, and things like that. But it really does depend on how far it's gotten before they start treatment and there is no prevention.